I didn't even know that transplants existed. I mean, at that time in 2003, they'd never done very few ever in the world. For nearly nine years, Ronnie Thurman thought he'd never have two hands again. I wasn't even aware that they took hand, uh, you know, took hands and put them on another body like, you know, in my case. Even his wife believed Ronnie would have to learn how to live with only his left hand. We just settled our lives into knowing that he was going to have one hand and that's all. But in 2011, the Thurman family found new hope. He woke me up one morning in August of 2011 and he said, look what they're doing in Louisville. Last year, Ronnie had the operation. Doctor spent about 16 hours with Ronnie in his surgery, then another six months for Ronnie to start to learn how to use his hand. He now receives therapy in his hometown of Marion. And they're the simplest things in, in the world. Uh, when you have two hands, you'd never give it any thought, ever. But when you don't have a hand and, and then you get it back, you sure notice them all. Ronnie continues to learn how to use his new hand. He recently met the parents of his donor, the family of 22-year-old Ian Heineman, who was killed in a car crash. It's just a case of, you know, bad things happen to good people, and that's about as as that, as good as I can say it. I, it's just, you know, a terrible accident there. Mr. Heideman came from a, a farm background, and, and Janice agreed that, you know, that, that would be important for Ronnie to, to have that right hand to do his job. And so, just, I told her the other day, she's the bravest woman I know.